Honorable Jacob, in our collective responsibility to realize his dreams for his family, community, and country. I thank you all, and may the soul of the right, Honorable Jacob Lokoriolanya, rest in eternal peace. La Wirodi wrote David Onan Achana the second, dated 7th April 202. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. Our foil. Uh, at this point, allow me to invite the medical team uh, for a few minutes uh, to come and speak to the mourners the Minister of Health the Honorable Dr. Jane Rutha Cheng the Director of Cancer Institute it's Honorable Jacob. Dr. Jackson Orem this is your time in our collective responsibility uh, five minutes. to realize his dreams for his your family, community and country right, I thank you all against. Days of struggle. And may the soul of the right, Honorable Jacob Lokoriolanya, rest in eternal peace. That we already what David Onan Achana the second, dated 7th April 2000. Allow me to invite Thank you. the Honorable Dr. Ruth Jena Cheng and Dr. Jackson Oren. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you, David, as they come. We have a condolence message from Union of Tana Kingdom, our foil, signed by the Prime Minister. We have a message from Wakamaka of Uganda, uh, at this signed point, by the Katikiro of Uganda. Allow me to invite we have a, a medical team from, uh, uh, for a few minutes. The person extra commission to come and speak to the mourners. We have uh, a message from the Chair Minister of the Health, Dispute Tribunal, the Honorable Dr. James Rosa Cheng. The Uganda Muslim Council. The Director of Council Institute. It's Honorable Jacob. Dr. Jackson Loren, this is your time. In our collective responsibility, uh, five minutes. To realize his dreams for his your family, community, and country. Right, Honorable I thank you all. Your Excellencies of struggle. May the, the soul of the right, of the Republic Honorable Uganda. Jacob Lokoriolanya, rest in eternal peace. Now we're ready. The right, Honorable Jacob Lokoriolanya. Of Uganda and Dr. Jackson, the right honorable deputy speaker. Thank you, David. As the clergy, the family members, and mourners, in the interest of time, we feel we have given enough medical report and. The family also feels that we have given enough medical report. And so we request that we don't repeat the medical report again. Uh, Dr. Rem will speak in the local language for those who have not understood what I have said. Thank you. Lukumu Weng Unutikan I'm Kwang I'm introducing myself Luani Dr. Jackson Orem Anabeda Yoli Meachuli Gang Watie Ila Yidi Division Ikirombe Alakolum Neno Kamana Don Ye Enu Minister Wachi, where the two don't want him on. He chuck a matote me. He kololo in the end of a big year. Then I walk a look. Well, logo, get your yo. Down when we knew. He don't be in the dong, there will be quite a doctor to one. 
and the work made a white way, Manono, the Dano, the Dano Wing Gunga, and the Kuma, a tea villa ditty, you are real, a deck banner, may I cheer, my pirate deck, Ubero Mera, may I real, and Benjalo Data. A bear let to a mad down wing may Uganda. And let did my loyal Katuyo cancer, Kilone Uganda Cancer Institute. You appeal a deck wing a bear that you get in a chill. Ma let go we were minister of air. Jen root a chain. It will make a chill. I don't do the right. I can't get a pain. What in the arm? There were team attack, you make it work. On a lot of the what team attack. I'm gonna take it. Need to give you can't even know you. My no, or better get one girl. I did your man with two. See, kid, my don't you know any one no bar. What is what? What is it? 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 What is What is it? 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 What is Magiti Diro, Magi Kituni, Wagdongba, and a lock will worra. She have been in a report. What there one in a Rio again, what no Kakuen or Miro, what cheat, what two ye or Megiwa, what their karma knock again or Megiwa get you a kunu. Madam, Pabi Duck, if there are two to twelve, and a woman and a wife, you and a knee. Equator can do ya. You can give me wing one of them. Equator in Nano. Get him a look at a man in Nano. Get Pimu. Get Poro. Get a young mom a mirror team man. A Benny Johnny. What better can give? What logo? What lay your time? Mom a mirror team. You don't am mom and a water any. Lotua. Mom a dung. Doctor. Who are you? King of my one minute, what lay you down here? Don't come here. She don't look at my pool to twelve pegs. Can't do the water. Can we make a kid my two bedroom? Can't be the water. And so, what do you think you're doing? Let you do you, near dung, what you have been, what work like this, or cheap, can be more poor. You know, can I do my team near bed? Where my leg of my mega? A four you to draw. Dong Abi Wajikile Muno Dong, where you can be going here. Nay, one long, my pole, my wife of that year. But we want the soul of our brother, our son, our relative to rest in eternal peace. Thank you. Uh, thank you. The Honorable Minister, Dr. Jane Ruther Cheng, the Director, Cancer Institute, Dr. Jackson Rem. At this point in time, I think it's fitting to have the father of the late Jacob speak. That did Nasa Nokori, one Jacob Obilogo Kumbedi. Thank 
to the center here. I will translate. Dear mourners and Okore Adiyu and my Biru Bora. My name is Okori Adiyu. You are my visitors. Tuan Guo. When a male dog is about to face death, it loses the sense of smell. It cannot smell even death. Awang President, Prime Minister, Odon Tegre, a pat pat, a magnitude, a long period. All the visitors, mourners, Vice President, Prime Minister, and all the leaders, particularly cultural leaders, and all of you in your various capacities. I thank you most sincerely. Olanya was not just my son. He was a son to the whole country. Government uh, may Uganda and permit tobacco doga and to Lanya Tikiri Jo a mine conyo doom to try. I don't want to have to plead a lot with the government of Uganda, but I want the government to know that Olanya has been taking care of very many people who depended on him. <laughs> I thought the head of state would be here in person. I believe other duties have not allowed him to be here in person. Now, now you who has come to represent him, Take my message clearly to the head of state. Olanya started a lot of initiatives back home here. All of them are incomplete. The, gov the government of Uganda has started completing the house he started. Jacob <laughs> Lanya. The government of Uganda should the government of Uganda should complete the house that Olanya started. 
da mene u tijelu ovako. Mi je otu ti. Ti ta rigu o tata. Mi ti kvaj ti. Lima ja je kon. I kvaj je. We expect the government to complete that house so that it is put to work and the income that will come from that house should take care of Jacob's family, including his grandchildren. The children you see in front of you are all children of school going age. Now they have nobody to support them. They are on their own. I appeal to the government not to abandon them but to take care of them. The government should help them to complete their studies to the highest level possible in line with the dream of their father, in line with my own dream as their grandfather, so that these same children and grandchildren can help the nation. Jacob, Jacob, who is no longer with us, uh, government Jacob had a law firm and he had invited his sister Harriet Okori, who is a lawyer with a master's degree, to work with him. Since Jacob's death, that law firm is closed. I appeal to the government to take care of Harriet Okori, Jacob's sister, because she's qualified. She is a lawyer with a master's degree. She should be deployed appropriately. I don't care if you're married, a bit, a magdin, a child, 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 that same sister of Jacob Adong, like other sisters and brothers, also have children. All of these need education. Jacob's focus was on education because when a person is educated, they can add value to society. They need support. Oh, Mineri Mona Tikeri Tino, and no Quano, and no can put your Quano Mastagi, oh, Etino Kene, Botko Dahatidi. Jacob's brother, Francis Joy Lemona, also has children. They all depended on Jacob. I appeal to the government to intervene and support them also. Prime Minister Yini Binu, Unikere Wang, President, Kopama Kelly Nimunu, Nena Chalukin appears there. The Prime Minister and Your Excellency, the Vice President, 
I appeal to you to consider these matters I've tabled before you seriously. Chipika Ilekom and Jacob Ridong Papa, Yinai Dog Papa. Madam Speaker, you are now the Speaker occupying the chair Jacob occupied. Jacob was like a father to us. You have now to take that position and play that role of a parent. And particularly to Muse Okori. Madam Speaker, that is Muse Okori's request to you to be a parent and do what Jacob used to do for him. Tigamoi and King Amat on the Woro Wahechi and Nakubni Jamma Rajo Atipasha Biruku Bubori, Atil Dongbori, and then on Mogiti Tiu Kwanya. Your Lordship, the Chief Justice, before my son Jacob went for treatment, and since I told you I would tell you some things in confidence, some of the things that you are supposed to do, which you promised to do, you have done. I need your help because my son Jacob left me in your hands. Your Lordship, the Chief Justice. Akubu man, Dahomara Winu, Redeo at Kunuchoro Jemmy, Larabuk Ben, a Jacob Uchoro worker, Dongin, Nachalo won cake, Yen Yuo Meloro, Jemma Jacob Patiba, Konye, where Konye team. Your Lordship, the Chief Justice, I have learned that a certain lady is meddling with Jacob's estate, tampering and hiding documents. You are the one in charge of laws in Uganda. I want you to safeguard Jacob's estate from meddlers. <coughs> I am not mourning in vain. I want to state clearly, Jacob was poisoned. He told me, and he was operated. Doctors attempted to deal with the poison. The poison affected his health so badly by the time he was flown out for treatment, he was not in a position to recover. He was too weak. Mano in Nama Mimboru, Unukumun Dushuen, Atinuto, Amwaka Mere, Mekonyuak Portier, don't worry, Apu. You, the mourners, please receive this information from me in good faith. My son has died. He is now gone. We will never see him again. Thank you.
Jose, I want to pour you. Let me invite Jacob's friends very, very shortly to speak briefly, the Honorable Chairman Mao and Dr. Opio Lawyer from Canada. You will speak together very briefly. Honorable Mao, Dr. Pio Lawyer, thank you. All protocols observed in the interest of time. Muse Nathan Okori, the children, siblings, relatives, friends of the late Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Lokorolanya, people of Omoro, and the people of the Republic of Uganda. Jacob was my cousin and friend. On behalf of my mother, Mama Alichi Noara Oloya, and my elder brother, Dr. Richard Ogaba Oloya, both currently in the USA and could not travel to be here, please accept my sincere condolences for the painful loss of a gifted legislator, a much-loved son, father, brother, uncle, and a friend to many people in Uganda and around the world. I visited Jacob twice while he was in Seattle. First time in February, February 19th and February 20th, and again on March 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. The first time when I visited Jacob, he was very, very happy. He was excited to see me. We talked a lot. We talked through the day, Saturday, the 19th of February. He talked about the culture, about Miel Bola, Utole. He talked about life generally. And yes, we laughed because that was Jacob, always happy. Very briefly, I recall when the nurses came to change him cheeky as ever, he said, now that my brother is here, you are pretending to be modest, but when he turns his back, you try to find every inch of my body. That was Jacob. The same day in the afternoon when the uh, deputy speaker, right honorable deputy speaker, now speaker of parliament call, I could overhear him saying to, to her, I am forming a football team so that we can go out and play. And of course he laughed. That was Jacob. Jacob faced death courageously. He faced death courageously. He never backed down. And he fought. And so, I would like to take a moment to truly Start by thanking His Excellency, President Yoweri Museveni, for doing everything in his power to ensure that Jacob had the best medical care possible. The best medical care possible. And Jacob was aware of that. He said to me, Opio, I'm very grateful for what the President did. And I know he cares so much about me that if someone went to him and said, Mr. President, based on scientific evidence, there is the leaf of a certain tree. If you pluck it, Jacob Olanya will get well. I know that the president would have done it himself just to make sure that the right leaf from the right tree was plucked for me. So Jacob was aware. Secondly, I want to thank all Ugandans for the outpouring of love and support that came from across the political aisle when Jacob was very ill. Your words and prayers of encouragement helped to sustain him for as long as possible. And now the same love and support for the children will ensure that they continue to heal. To my nieces and nephews, Diana, Andrew, 
Didi, Ezra, Karen Atim, Christian, Kimberly, Carlin, I say this to you. You have lost a father, but you have gained a whole nation to support you, encourage you, guide you, and nurture you. And to this end, let me sincerely give thanks to the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mong, now called Auntie Anita by the children, for what you have done and continue to do for the children of Olanya. My deepest appreciation also goes to your Lordship, Chief Justice Owindolo, Right Honorable Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayegwa, Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Ruther Cheng, Honorable Norman Bao behind me for your continued support of the family. Finally, I want to thank Mrs. Donna and Ambassador Robert Masolo, who took care of uh, Karen and team while Jacob was in hospital. To the Masolos, who are not here, but if you are listening, know that your deep friendship to Olanya meant a lot to him. He had confidence and trust in you, and your continued su support to the children gives meaning to the phrase, it takes a whole village to raise a child. Lukumu Uwedoa, dialogue in Lebaturi, Lokweng, Madonna, Miro Wajimachala, and the phone, Manti Associate Vice President, May University, May Western Ontario, May University, Niki Chari Nindwe, Abirum, Medrema De, Mara Liba Chel, Kimia Bor, Kipiera Beer, we are Bor, Mandong No Kar, Mara Mia Chelly Pierre Beach, Dok Ane, Dana Machol, Mati, Magikero, E University, Machado. A senior leader. Ameta Medlock Ma Ladiro Korowaja. A da Ulanima won't take a lock in the end to twan mounting a barn. O Age Quen, O Age Kan. Ulanya Age Kan Pien that did Museo Kori. Why Terong John Nick Wan Pierre Tech? Who better go in the Nikon Berichan? Put on oil. And watching team. Nia Tini Quan Pierta, Cow Lanyan of Poquano, or Lanyan of Pecher of Amo. Chia da, I know Pab and Noem at Wong. I met at Wong, Omeno Lanya, Matikan, Francis and Mona, Ubin, Porricoma, where Dong and Ben of Wuno Nene. No one would take a joy book. I was working with Jacob Olanya to write his memoir, and one of the people that he talked about so much was his brother, Francis and Mona. And Olanya took care of his little brother as they went to Lalogi Primary School. And of course, when bullies were trying to bully him, Francis and Mona, Olanya was there to protect his little brother. So Francis, please come forward. The Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, the Speaker of Parliament, Deputy Speaker of Parliament, uh, the Chief Justice, all the ministers around, members of Parliament, the clergy, all protocol observed. My name is Francis Joel Emona. I grew up with Jacob together. We lived together. I knew him for the last 54 years. So nobody else know Jacob more than me and Muse. He is a father. He's a mentor, a friend, a relative, and mention it all. I want to thank very much His Excellency, the President of Uganda, General Yoweri Museveni, for the handsome support he gave to my brother when he was alive. He did whatever it takes to save his life. I am grateful, and we are grateful as a family. To the, 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 the Speaker of Parliament now, we cannot do without your help. You helped us, you supported us. We are greatly honored. 
everybody who took care of Jacob. You can't say someone is more important than the other. You cannot talk and forget Honorable Minister of Health, Jane Ruth Chen. She's an amazing minister. We very much appreciate. To the clergy, one particular person who I don't know whether he's here is Reverend Canon Christine Chimanya. I don't know whether she's here. I would like in a special way, if she's here, please come up. This is the very person who took care of Jacob's soul. She has been a very great mother. I know she may be weak, but I would like you to say something and be very strong, just like I am. You have done the greatest thing in our family. Please greet the mourners. All, <clears throat> all protocol observed. I want to appreciate the people of Uganda for the support they have given to the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament. I want to appreciate the President, the Speaker, the members of Parliament, the Cabinet, and especially I would like to appreciate the clergy of all walks of life, the intercessors who really, really prayed for Jacob. I also want to appreciate Mama Janet Museveni. She even sent a devotional to be read to Jacob every day. I thank God that I was there and I saw Jacob through illness from 2017 and every part of his ailment he shared with me and I really put Jacob's life into the hands of God. For Jacob, two hours before his death, and earlier than that, at least every day, he recognized my voice, and I am very convinced Jacob is a repented sinner, and he has gone to be with the Lord. May God thank you very much. Thank you. As I conclude, I know time is not on our side. I'm very grateful to my museum, Nathan Okori. They were personal friends with Jacob. Jacob loved him so much. To just pull back a bit, the day of Jacob's travel to the U.S., I was supposed to go with him, but in a way or the other, I didn't travel. Someone told me when we were in a meeting that blood is thicker than water. <laughs> blood is thicker than water. We were in a meeting with the chief justice. We take you to Parliament. Of course, when the Treasury CS will be reading that budget statement, and we'll cover that for you from wall to wall. All right, time now to begin our discussion tonight. Governor Jackson Mandago is already with me. I'm speaking to him shortly, but let's take you back 
to the year 2017, to the date today, take a look at the bold newspaper. The headline then, and you learn the more things change, the more they remain the same. Years later, look right at the top of the standard newspaper before we go to the headline. The right at the top says, I joined Raila Kalonzo ticket is team's favorite. Working document shows team's preference for coalition lineup is Odinga at the helm with Kalonzo second and offers a uh, house top seat to Wetangula and chief minister to Moses uh, Mudavadi. Of course, Moses Mudavadi have seen, and, and, and Moses and uh, Wetangula and Mudavadi have since moved on, but it's the same thing. A joint rail ticket today at uh, the uh, WIPA. A meeting. Kalonzo actually said that he's confident. Some things are obvious. Of course, away from that, let's take a look now at uh, the top story in the standard then. To the day today, Hamed Nasir, a senior counsel, foreign trip saved me from killers. Lawyer accuses DCI boss of instructing a, a police death squad to kill him over a multi-billion shilling land case, but Ndegwa Mohoro then, the DCI boss, dismissed the allegations as total lies by a man who is running broke. That's how he described the senior counsel, Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi. Of course, that was the headline of the bold newspaper then. Direct ticket, forget it. President Uhuru Kenyatta declares nominations for... Um, ODM parties handling how direct nominations still happening right now. Even then, it was happening. Even Jubilee President Uhuru Kenyatta dismissed it then. Now, that was uh, then the Bold newspaper back in 2017 to the date today ahead of the August 9th general election. All right, let's come back now to the studio and uh, speak to Governor Jackson Mandago. Governor, good to see you uh, this evening. Welcome to uh, News Hour, first time on the show. Governor, I'd like to ask you a direct question as we begin the show, because it's a concern. This is a subject of investigations with the DCI, but I just want to know what you know. Were you aware that uh, there were plans to pelt Raila Odinga's chopper uh, using stones by the youth who attended the burial of uh, the late Mr. Jackson Kibo? Uh Thank you very much, um, Ken. Uh, let me say uh, on the answer that uh, first and foremost I was not aware that the Right Honorable uh, former Prime Minister Ray Lauding. This you must know. There is no woman that Jacob came and introduced to our family. Our family. So Jacob went and left us with the children. Only. And that is and that is the task we have. And we are going to carry it on. I thank you very I much. I thank you very much. May the Lord May the Lord you take care of you on my journey back home. I know, I know you have come from you have come from all parts of the world, the world, the world parts of Uganda. We can identify and say all the during his time during his time when he was campaigning for the northern chair for the northern chair. I think I think God told them that I am going to give you everything, but you will not enjoy anything. Because, because, he wanted to be the member of parliament. parliament. They gave him. They gave him. He wanted to be the vice president of Uganda. They gave him. They gave him. He wanted to be, the, the, speaker wanted to be the speaker of parliament. They gave him. Whatever they wanted, God give you. But they could not enjoy Local yet. Your Grace, Your Grace, the Archbishop of the, the Archbishop Uganda, of the Church of Uganda. Your Grace, the Archbishop, Your Grace, the Archbishop, the Archbishop of the Church. And all the and all the clergy. Forgive us for sounding, forgive us for sounding like, like we were not paying attention to your sermon. To your sermon. We are only human. We thank you for your words of encouragement. You have told us not to be afraid. We are not afraid. We 
that we are involved in spiritual battles. We need prayers, not only for this place, not only for Northern Uganda, but for the whole of Uganda. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Madam Speaker, Prime Minister, Cabinet MPs, fellow mourners. Mine is simply to speak as someone who has known Jacob since 1988. I knew him as a young man. He has many friends here. Jacob belonged to the whole of Uganda. When a tree is still standing, even if you are short as me, if you are far away, you can think you are as tall as the tree. But when the tree falls, you realize its true height. Today, we have all seen the true height of Jacob. I want to thank Museo Kori. You gave Jacob to the party to which he belonged on behalf of the Acholi and Lao people and Northern Uganda. The party he belonged to gave Jacob to the whole of Uganda and the world. We are here to celebrate what Jacob gave, not what he took. Jacob was a giver. To the children, Atim said it best. The only debt you have to pay is filling your father's shoes. Your father left you with a passport, more valuable than a diplomatic passport. Because whichever office you go to, you only have to say, I'm a son or a daughter of Jacob Olanya. Whoever is in that office will stand up to receive you. Make yourself worthy of that passport. Don't assume that passport. And we are here to tell you off in case you are bringing shame to that passport. I believe that there are kinds of leaders. There are situational leaders. Those who see a situation and take advantage of it, then they become leaders. Then there are transactional leaders who carry out a trade. Give me, I give you. Jacob was not a situational leader. Jacob was not a me away a me kind of leader. Give me, I give you. Jacob was a transformational leader. One who sees something and wants to add value. Jacob lifted up many children. Jacob was educating hundreds of students. Jacob started a radio station. Jacob was involved in cooperatives. Jacob was the biggest promoter of Jack Sugar. Jacob was our voice in the nation. Above all, Jacob supported the Church of Jesus Christ and even the Muslim faith and all other believers. That is the Jacob that I know. People are saying, why is Mao and Chief Justice of Windolo talking a lot? You may not agree with what we are saying, but we beg you to understand. Just understand what we are saying. Because I know Jacob would be doing for me what I'm doing for him now. The other day when I went to speak at the NRM Secretariat, people were saying, now he's going to NRM. If I were the one who had died, and DP was hosting my memorial, Jacob would come to DP headquarters. I knew who he loved. He loved very many friends. Jacob had support from all over Uganda. You will be surprised that among his strongest supporters 
even for the rest of speaker, was the Busoga caucus. You will be surprised. You know, I understand Africans are superstitious. When you are dead, they all feel they must say only good things, fearing that you may do something to them. So even those who mocked him while he lived, now are praising him to the heavens. To the young people, before you take up leadership, be ready. Jacob was ready by the time he assumed office. He was our speaker in Makere University. He was a pillar of support to me. Jacob was kind. When I collapsed one time in 2014, Jacob called every general in Uganda, telling them to find a helicopter to take me from Guru to Entebbe. General Temawai should be here. Jacob called him like 20 times. General Mao is dying. What will you tell the people if Mao dies? You always say you are the biggest general. You order a helicopter to go and take Mao. Jacob did that for me. When I was campaigning for parliament, Jacob gave me his entire salary so that I could come and fight here. I believe we are mourning because we knew what is still hard to offer. So what do we give back? We have started the Jacob Olanya Education Foundation. The directors are people who are reputable. We have got the Chief Justice as the chair. We have got the Speaker of Parliament among the directors. I am there. Honorable Robert Mwesi Barukari, who is the chairman of the NRM Entrepreneurs League, he is there. We have got senior counsel, Francis Gimara. We have got Mr. Francis Emona, his brother. We have got his sister-in-law, Stella Yodon. And we have got Frank Othembi, counsel, director of Law Development Center. And another friend, Stephen Kajubi Sefuya. People attacking their Tory leaders, attacking our MPs, that they want to receive money from government. That is untrue. When we launch this foundation, it is the Tory community that put together the first 165 million shillings. 165 million shillings from the Atoli community towards this foundation to take care of these children and other dependents. Now, the Speaker of Parliament, through a motion moved by Honorable Dieter Sajman, has announced that members of Parliament individually are contributing a total of 554 million shillings towards that foundation. I'm saying this because people talk a lot how they will love the children, how they will visit them, how they will take care of them. The moment the body has been lowered, that is it. Me, I'm a straight talker. I don't want to pretend. I'm 55 years old. I, I think I'm old enough to speak my mind. Let me conclude. We saw Jacob alive. People said we were bribed to come back and deceive the country that Jacob was alive, whereas he was dead. How much money should you pay me to deceive Ugandans? How much money should you pay the Chief Justice? How much money should you pay son Ezra, who saw him? to pretend that he was dead, but deceiving people that he's alive. How much should you pay the daughter, Diana? How much money would you have to pay the Speaker of Parliament or his brother? I believe very strongly that we had the privilege of seeing him. The only word they had him say was the Chief Justice's name, Chigamoy. 
He opened his eyes and saw us. Tears were streaming out of the corners of his eyes. It was as if he was telling us, don't cry for me, I'm crying for you. He was crying for us, crying for actually Northern Uganda, Uganda, and the world in which we live. I wish, Jacob, my brother, you were alive to see the love that people are showering you with. You should be here. I know the world did not treat you as fairly as you deserve. But that is the world. We are in the Easter season. Can you imagine Barnabas winning an election, defeating Jesus Christ? Yes, that's how the people of Jerusalem voted. Jesus lost. The world is not fair. Tomorrow, the Chief Justice has convened the meeting of leaders here in the compound of Museo Kori. That is where we shall talk our issues. That is where we shall sort out all the issues, how he died, his illness. All those can be sorted. We are first going to put him down. And me, Archbishop Emeritus, I will not keep quiet. A dog, a dog. We know that we take of Jerusalem. On the other side of the world, we are going to be going these matters of Uganda require now the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Not just about Jacob, but the whole of Uganda. Let us think bigger. One day a man and his wife went back home and found that their house work, worker who helped them at home, a lady, they called them house girls, had packed up and left. But she had cooked food and put it on the table. Very well prepared. Nobody was there to receive them, only the cat was there. So the wife looks at the husband and the husband looks at the wife and says, why do you think this lady left? Said, we don't know, but she has cooked. Should we eat? Then they said, no, she could have put poison in the food. Then they said, why don't we give the cat some of the food? If the cat dies, then we know that it was poisonous. If the cat does not die after about one hour, we can eat. So they call the cat, puss, 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 puss. The cat came. They gave the cat each a bit of food from every plate. And then they stayed talking. Then the neighbor ran into the house and said, Oh, Mr. and Mrs. So and so, your cat has died. So they but the cat had taken long without dying and they had eaten. Unfortunately. So they now looked at each other and said, well, the cat hadn't died within an hour. We ate, but now the neighbor says the cat has died. They now knew they were dying. So the man said, my dear wife, this house girl left because she was pregnant and I was responsible. I want to confess before I die. And then, the husband, the wife also looks at the husband and says, Sweetheart, dear husband, you know Junior, who you love very much. That one, the father, is your driver. You are not the father. Sorry. Since we are dying, we may as well exchange the truth. Then the same neighbor who had told them the cat had died ran in the house again and said, Oh, Mrs. and Mrs. So and so. A car knocked your cat. They say, what is this? 
You mean it was not poison? You mean we are not dying? But we had already told the truth to each other. These matters of Uganda are at that level now. Because if we don't tell the truth, we may die. Fellow mourners, me, Chief Justice, the Speaker, Health Minister, and the Muna went to Seattle. We left you praying. We quarreled with those people who went to demonstrate outside the hospital. We asked God, give us Jacob back alive so that we can walk with him. Through the VIP lounge with him walking with swagger as usual. We asked God. God decided not to give us Jacob. We told God, don't make us be ashamed. Don't ashamed us. Don't let those demonstrators laugh at us that your man has died no matter what you do. Whether you fly him in Uganda Airlines, whether you spend millions of dollars, we told God, save us from that shame. Jacob died and we came back with our heads down. A preacher from St. Francis Chapel, Makerere, told us that sometimes God can answer your prayer the way you want. Sometimes God can refuse to answer the prayer. But sometimes God decides to do something else that you didn't even ask for. So now I'm here to send Jacob. Jacob, you are listening. You are meeting people like Lokech, he's there. You are meeting Walter Ochora. You are meeting General Keller. You are even meeting the man we call First Blood, Brigadier Pierino Koya. Tell God that since he has not given us what we wanted, let him do something in this country. God, please do something that nobody was expecting. Because we don't know what you want now. Since we don't know what God wants, we can only say now, God, do whatever you want. Because we know whatever you want will be in our best interest. God must do something good. Jacob was our trailblazer. When he was elected speaker, he called me. Dog and mouth. I'm already the speaker. I was your speaker. You are you are the president. What are you still waiting for? I said, Mr. Speaker, sir. The traffic jam is too much. <laughs> and then he laughed. We are still in the jam. May Jacob's soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. The Honorable Chairman Law. Thank you for that school in ideology. I want to thank you uh, for being best of friends, true friends, to the late Right Honorable Jacob Kukorabaya. Thank you so much. My dear friends, we are hard pressed with time, but please bear with us. We have very few speeches left, and I request the speeches that are left be really brief, because the clergy will have Finalize with the press. Allow me to invite the LG5 chairperson for more history to come in two minutes, not more than two minutes. Come to the front corner of the district. The LG5 chairperson of the model. He's not here.
in a special way, I just want to recognize that Uganda, Uganda Kingdom is very well represented here. They are mourning with us with a letter of condolence signed by the Thank you so much. We have our brothers from the kingdom, from the kingdom of Toro, who are also here with us. Thank you so much. We have our brothers from now. Thank you so much. Our brothers from Bunyoro are also here. Thank you so much. And also the cultural representation from the entire West Island. Thank you so, so, so much for coming to Matol with us. At this point, let me invite the Honorable Catherine Mamaha. She is the woman member of parliament for all of history, who will thereafter invite the chairperson of a joint parliamentary group to address you the honor. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament of Uganda, the Lordship Chief Justice of the Republic of Uganda, Right Honorable Deputy Prime, Right Honorable Deputy Speaker of the Parliament of Uganda, Right Honorable Prime Minister present with us. Right Honorable Third Deputy Prime Minister. Honorable Ministers present. Members of Parliament. Religious leaders who are present here and cultural leaders. Here are honors that you are in capacity, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Catherine Lamuaka, the woman member of Parliament for Omoro District. Your Excellency, the Chief Mona and dear Mona, you all agree with me that this is the toughest bit of the time from all that we've been through from the first day that we received the body of our fallen leader, Right Honorable Jacob Olanen. Dear Mona, allow me at this particular time, bring your attention and let you know that as we get ready for the last bit of the settle of our dear fallen leader, here with us today, we have the whole parliament of Uganda president. I will address myself particularly to the presence of the members of parliament in this very important function. You all are aware that our fallen leader, Right Honorable Jacob Kobalana, was the head of the parliament. And here with us, as I speak now, we have over 300 members of the parliament who are present here. And I may not be able to read all their numbers one by one, but I kindly request them to stand up and wait to the congregation to recognition. Kindly, Honorable Police. May we all rise up for our position. Thank you. You may take your seats. Right now, Jacob the great man we are speaking about today, was a big brother to me. I joined Parliament of Uganda and became a member of Parliament of this constituency of this district when he had already served two terms in Parliament. His guidance was a great help to me a lot as a junior and as a young legislator. Dear Monas, we've lost a great man who was a father to this district. A great man who was a vision bearer for this district. Right from the time when this district was created, all his empathy and his guidance to us with the focus was for us to have a district that we all want. This alone tells you the kind of person we had as our killer. A man who would want everybody to be brought on board as we decide on the fate of the district. A man who would want development for all, not for a selected few. A man who considered the interest of all, not for a selected few. And so we felt very comfortable. And we relax, I think, so much. 
Because we fail away the steadfast and fortunate today, God has taken him away from us. The great loss for us as a district is the great loss for us as a sub region and a region. And we thank all the mourners and leaders who have been able to come by us and console us and comfort us. But we all know this is temporary. In Temple Bolana, you will see leadership at first value straight away. You don't need to struggle. Because he will speak and you see him walking his talk. That's one unique thing about Jacob Bolana. And it was easy for him to make the young leaders to come into leadership. Because when a young person sees a leader speaking and walking what he's speaking, it becomes very easy to generate and bring to be that person. And so we have lost that great inspire the right son of Jacob Bolana. The Amuna Katiwara is capacity that I don't I don't forget to emphasize certain key things about the passion of Jacob Olana. Jacob Olana was a man who was very passionate about transforming the lives of the common man. Even in service delivery, he was very particular in ensuring that people who are at the ground should be able to get what government delivers to the people in terms of services. I want to call upon government that it is very important that as we go to deliver services, as we come into the new interventions and projects for our people, we should be able to design mechanisms that make these services reach the common person at the classroom. Some of these things are things that we learn from the right of the land as important elements in leadership. Dear Mona, I will not say much for today, but from the time when the body of the right of the Jacob Alana came into the country, we have gone a long way, starting from Kampala, coming to Vienna, coming in Kololo, and coming home here. But one thing I want to say is that the positions that we hold in public offices should be able to help us achieve instead for the people that we hold those offices on their behalf, not for us as individuals. And this was in the person of Jacob Alana. A man of integrity, a man who was very straightforward. He would not meet his wife. And that is something that is so difficult sometimes for us as leaders. We would want to see only the good things to please people, but not the very parts of life and the realities as they are. We have lost, we have lost a great leader, and we shall miss him very, very dear. At this particular time, I am aware of a statement coming from previous speakers. And one of uh, the statements that was issued was the issue of the demonstration that happened in Seattle when Reverend Roger Kovalaya was on his hospital bed fighting for his life. We stand to condemn such attitude. But above all, as a mother, I want to say we are forgiven. The Lord wants us to forgive. We are forgiven. We pray that we should learn to move together as a country. The death of Christ of Jacob Alana brought us all together. It is important for us now to move together as a country. We are stronger when we are together than when we are divided. Let us leave the legacy of Christ of Jacob Alana to prevail as we carry on in our life. I want to thank you all and thank you in a particular way, government of Uganda, for all the support and ensuring that we move a long way up today. I want to thank in a particular way the President, thank Parliament of Uganda and the leadership of the, the right honorable speaker of Parliament for all the support rendered to our son when he was unwell and also for this preparation. I want to thank in a special way members of Parliament for standing with us. I want to thank the people of Uganda for standing with us up to this last moment when we were standing of our father. A life well lived is not to be celebrated. Let us keep the legacy of Christ from Jesus of Olana alive in our life. So to all of our family, for all in time, we have to keep the legacy of Christ from Jesus of Olana. To our family, I am known, but I am not going to be a young man, but I am not going to be a young man, but I am not going to be a young man. 
What kind of contribution are we giving to others? What will people talk about you when you are going away from this world? Are they going to talk about the amount of money you left in the bank? Are they going to talk about the big building that you left in Kampala or any other place in the world? Or they will talk about the other things well? Your Excellency, when we were born in Jecho, Jacob, on the floor of Parliament, I want to thank you. The administration of Parliament and the ladies of the right of the speaker, they printed a book full of quotations from Jacob Olani. I think people who have not read this book, you have to interest yourself about it. Because the book talks a lot about how you can build the spiritual wealth. It talks about how you can fight corruption in this country. Jacob was somebody who will talk the truth. Of all people in this country, I have never had anyone who can stand and talk straight to the president of this world. But Jacob stood and said, Your Excellency, we are all brats in the country. What kind of legacy can we pick from that? That we should talk the truth, and that's the way that many of us will be better. Your Excellency, when Jacob was elected, to be the vice chairman in charge of Acholi, Lamo, and the West Nile, when he was going around to campaign for his president, the president and for the party, the NRM, people did not vote NRM, but they voted Jacob. He was speaking to the heart of the people, speaking to the heart of the people of Northern Ireland, and he left a will. The will is that this time round government will improve and fight poverty in order to die. You have a duty to carry the fact that there is a will that Jacob left behind for Northern Uganda that people should get out of poverty. You have that ability to get it. Your Excellency, in the interest of time, let me just introduce the members of the Chinese Parliament and the group where they are. Honorable members, can you wait for the recognition? I have been requested that there is no enough time to bring you in front here. And I want to end by saying, I have been quoting this book by Robert Bisham, who will cry when you die. In that book, it tells us that when we are born, on that day, the people will be laughing when you are crying, when you are living your life in this world, you should touch the life of people. You should be well with people. So that the day when you are dying, people will cry when you laugh. And not Jacob will be laughing. But in our country of Gatoni, a person dies when he's not given birth. You have seen the children of Jacob. We believe Jacob is alive. And with those children, his legacy will remain in this world for God and my country.
Mira fogo. Eu tenho uma linha. A gente também vai de fogo. Cada semana de lá. Fui fogo e fui para lá. Fui para lá. A excelência. The vice president. Who is our chief monarch. To allow me to be speaking the language of home and English for the benefit of the monarchs. Near to the Sati Manuan, State Minister Mengaro Ben. Uberi Kamena, Amero Kochi Mo Uberi Kerigi, Medio Aragi Proklam Matin, Kuni Kawa Chari Kapano Mo Latin Wang, Doma Doma Milo Kamatu Tiano, Kwa Doma Latin Wang Kabeo, Kwa Beri Naha. Mapi Amatia Kwa Kamane Rasim Kerigo, Amero Kwa Kalo, Anausman, Ministri Mamela, Kipi Yen, Pierre Pitch, we are very young. Madame Kumana, the right man of Jacob Olanya, more than Pierre Kane, Kadika Komene. We are still not aware of what we are doing. We are not aware of what we are doing. We are not aware of what we are doing. We are not aware of what we are doing. We are not aware of what we are doing. We are not aware of what we are doing. Your Excellency, you will not allow me because of time for a year in Ghana when we have no people to love me. Obey the law, we are quite clear. Piano list, no man down the rim. We are not people to love me. We are not people. We are not people. We are not people. We are not people. Ah, we are not people. We are not people. We are not people. Beno Merlo, Pato Romondo. Ento Yena, Ni Eki, Raikon Abo Pran, Raikon Abo Jeko Kodanya, Uberu Vice President Nenare Munoza. Alevo, Kwekikuwa Mimakuwa Rokamapo, Mukeno Aki Westline, Ilao, Kampala, Kiku, Alevo Tu Amaro, Tu Enare, O que é que o meu irmão vai? O que é que o meu irmão vai fazer? O que é que o meu irmão vai fazer? O que é que o meu irmão vai fazer? O que é que o meu irmão vai fazer? O que é que o meu irmão vai fazer? O que é que o meu irmão vai fazer? O que é que o meu irmão vai fazer? O que é que o meu irmão vai fazer? Amen. 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 Right for the Prime Minister, allow me to take this little time to introduce you to the owners so that they know where you are, ma'am, that you may stand up and they see you. Right for the Prime Minister. Let us take a look at this. Let it be your business for the mention. First, I'm going to allow everybody to speak, and you will bear with us, friends. Allow me also to introduce the third Deputy Prime Minister, Adam Nakdama, who is here with us, to the monarchs. Monarchs, my Lord, my Lord, Prime Minister, my Lord, 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 Ministers of government, then in your room, members of parliament. Allow me to invite friends, the ministers of government, to stand up for the monarchs to see you. We cannot 
when we let him make parliament for Omoro County. And that was the first time we elected him on the National Resistance Movement ticket. And I want to thank you. Thank you for trusting Jacob and thank you for loving National Resistance Movement. Uh, in the 10th Parliament, in that Parliament, when we get the 9th Parliament, uh, NRA trusted him and gave him a flag to be the Deputy Speaker Parliament of Uganda. And we want to appreciate you. Thank you for giving us Jehovah. In the 9th, 10th Parliament, when we came back as a member of Parliament for Oro County, we wanted to try to take him probably the promotion to the speaker position. The struggle that we did and uh, after when the Senate Executive Committee decided that Polanya retained the deputy speakership for another five years. And recently, of course, in 2020, he stood as a member of the Senate Executive Committee for this subgroup, for this region. That is Jory, Lamo, and Ms. Nairi. One time to the leaders of all these subregions that we trusted Jacob Olanya as a Senate Executive Committee member. We are here as fellow chairperson of the chairperson of the region who worked with great honorable Jacob Olanya. We enjoyed his campaign. He's one of the best persons that we've ever worked with. 2021, God gave us that he came to speak. And I want to thank you, the people of Moro, because by the time you have given a flag to stand and to speak of parliament, you are already elected by you, the people of Moro. On behalf of the National Resistance Movement, I want to thank you. Thank you so much, and we shall always remember you for God and my country. Fellow mourners, as uh, Yaroshi said, I am a leper and Simon Peter. I stand before you to bring condolences from the people of Karapodia. I know it is the most difficult moment that the people of Moro are going through, and the time we say we stand with you in this difficult moment. The people of Karapodia will stand and control pray for the people of Moro. Just from the words of our Americans, Archbishop of Colombia, that the people of the North, there is something God is showing us. But I can assure you that this is the moment that the people of the North must go into the reflection. Why us at this moment? This is yet another dark moment for the people of the North and Uganda. And must reflect. Why us? And God, as Mao said, let now God do what He thinks for us, for our and Uganda. As I stand here together with you, they follow Karamanya morning, Uganda across the sea. Give them a call again. Let's start that you see life for us, that is time is no more. I pray that we continue to remain united, that was the sea in left behind. We will continue to reconcile that the seed is left behind. Let us be in harmony as we preach in the preach for peace. The very in this country. Let us say this is for my country. It is all right. Thank you very much. I go with the protocol as I have announced. My name is Chris Valimonsi. I am the member of parliament for Chinchiti in the Kanun district. I also serve as the Minister of Information, Communication, Technology, National Guidance, the Government of Uganda, and also the Vice Chairperson for Western Uganda. When I, I bring you condolences from the NRM family, Western Uganda, and the Western Uganda Association from Karuma to Kisoro. We are all born with you. I would like to thank the people of Omoro for having elected Jeff of Polanya to be your member of parliament and his son 
with the dedication and the Member of Parliament. I also would like to thank the Member of Parliament, the Member of Parliament, and the Board of Edim, and the Deputy Speaker, and later as a speaker, for having been here and I asked the Central Executive Committee. 